Hi everyone! Welcome back to the Story Time Family. How are you today? How many books have you read today? Are you ready for one more book with us? Today we have a book called "Good Night, Little Penguin." Let's get started, shall we? Good night, little penguin. Once upon a bedtime, there was a little penguin. He lived far, far away, at the bottom of the world, in a land of ice and snow. Little penguin kept cozy and warm, sitting safely on his daddy's feet, snuggled up in his soft, warm feathers. Time passed, and little penguin grew and grew. Soon, he was big enough to waddle around on the snow all by himself. Pitter patter he went, pitter patter. More time passed, and little penguin had grown some more. Now he could waddle and hop and flap his tiny wings. Hop, hop, hop he went, flap, flap, flap. What a clever little penguin you are," said his mummy, who had come back from the sea with fish for them all to eat. Little penguin grew and grew and grew until he was too big to sit on his daddy's feet any more. "You are such a hungry little penguin," said his mummy and daddy. Now we both need to go to the sea to catch fish. Can I come? Asked little penguin. The journey will be too long and cold for a little penguin like you," said his mummy. "You will have to stay here with the penguin nursery." Little penguin didn't like this idea one little bit. Suddenly, a line of baby penguins appeared, trudging across the snow. Quick, catch up! Called the last in the line. Your mummy and daddy will be back before you know it. But little penguin didn't want to join in. He stood all on his own at the edge of the snowfield, and soon he was very cold and miserable indeed. Brrr, shivered little penguin. Won't you come and have fun with us? Asked the baby penguin. I didn't want to go to nursery," little penguin said, stamping his little feet. "And I don't want to play. I just want to go home." Stomp, stomp, stomp. "All right," said the baby penguin sadly. "But come and find us if a storm comes," she said, looking up at the sky. "You won't be safe here on your own." It wasn't long before the wind began to howl. Hoo, hoo! Snowflakes started to swirl. Soon, little penguin couldn't see where he was going. Poor little penguin was cold and wet and frightened. Then, through the blizzard, he heard someone calling him. It was the penguin from before. Come with me," she chirped. "You must be getting cold out here all by yourself." This time, little penguin followed, and soon he was snuggled up with all the other baby penguins, safe and warm. The storm passed, and the sun came out again. Time to play! cried the baby penguins, and this time little penguin joined in. First, they made footprints in the snow, pitter patter. Then they played hopping and flapping and sliding along the ice on their tummies. Wee! Little penguin had so much fun that he didn't even notice his mummy and daddy arrived. Time to go home, said mummy. 
You must be tired after all the playing. Would you like to come to Penguin Nursery again tomorrow? Yes, please," said Little Penguin with a yawn. And that's just what he did. Good night, Little Penguin. And that was good night, Little Penguin. Did you enjoy that bedtime story? I hope you're ready to settle down and take a rest. If you'd like to own a copy of this book, the links to purchase it are in the description below. Do give us a like and subscribe if you haven't, and click on the bell for more stories like this. Thank you so much for reading with us. You have a good night. We'll see you back here soon. Bye bye. Hope you're having a good day. Are you ready to read a book with us? Today we have a book called "My Way to Kindness" by Elizabeth Cole. Let's get to it. My Way to Kindness. Little Melissa was kind and sweet, the sweetest child you will ever meet. But even Melissa might fail to be kind, and needed her teddy to bring it to mind. Once she got a toy and a candy too, but her mommy didn't hear "thank you." Then Melissa promised to make her bed, but decided to watch cartoons instead. So her teddy made a plan for that night. He would show in her dreams what is right. They ended up in the kingdom of sweets. Melissa had never seen so many treats. There were pudding clouds up high in the sky, so many cookies with wings that could fly, marshmallow grass and a chocolate stream, and mountains of strawberry ice cream. That sounds delicious. Melissa saw the brownie out of the blue. He met an old lady and said, "How are you?" Then he held the door for the lady and smiled. She gratefully said, "You're such a kind child." The brownie greeted Melissa and Teddy too. He said with a smile, "Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome to our lovely kingdom of sweets, with nothing but kindness on every street. When you are kind, you get much in return. That is the lesson every one should learn. If you're kind to others, they'll smile at you. It will make you feel good and happy too." Then Melissa saw a group of muffins play. Only the smallest of them stayed away. Blueberry Muffin invited his shy friend. All the muffins played together in the end. Melissa said, "Muffin, you are so sweet." "Yes," said Muffin. "I am a tasty treat. You might eat my belly, but only a half," he replied. And they all started to laugh. I'll tell you the way I always choose. I put myself in someone else's shoes. If you want, you might try this way too. Imagine how you want others to treat you. Early in the morning, I hug my dad. It makes his whole day happy and glad. Every kind deed, no matter how small, might become big, like a rolling snowball. The little donut had something to suggest. She had made a card. 
Mom, you're the best. Then she hugged her mom tight. They were such a beautiful sight. Donut said, A kind word written or told has more value than diamonds and gold. It costs nothing but warms the heart. It is sweeter than any chocolate tart. You can borrow my toy, a new voice said. Melissa turned and saw the gingerbread. His friends shared the tasty snack in return. They showed Melissa one more way to learn. He said, If you see a friend in need, don't hesitate to do a good deed. Try my way to show that you care. I'm kind to my friends, so I share. You get special freckles for kindness, he said. They decorate your cheeks and your forehead. These freckles are invisible, my dear girl, but they'll make your face shine like a pearl. For every kind deed, you will get one. Each will brighten your day like the sun. The more freckles you earn on any day, the better you feel. That's all I can say. Thank you, friends, for showing me the way. I promise to earn my freckles each day. After Melissa and Teddy had some treats, it was time to leave the kingdom of sweets. Melissa woke up with a smile on her face. Kindness makes the world a better place. True kindness is when you do a good deed, not because you have to, but feel the need. Thanks, Mom. What a yummy meal, Melissa said and meant it for real. Then she helped her clean the table and pin it with the best mom label. Kind deeds have power like a magic wand. If you have this magic, others will respond. So at the end of your day, be proud to say, How many freckles have I earned on my way? No act of kindness is ever wasted. And that was my way to kindness. I hope you enjoyed the book as much as I did. If you'd like to own a copy of this book, the links to purchase it are in our description below. Do give us a like, and if you haven't, do subscribe and click on the bell for more cute stories like this. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you back here soon. You take care. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, welcome to Mindful Meditation with Storytime Family. Today we will be practicing restful bedtime meditation. So make sure you're all comfy and cozy in your bed. Whenever you're ready, come to lie on your back with your hands on your belly. Make yourself as comfortable as possible and make any adjustments you need. Relax your arms and legs, your face and neck. Gently close down your eyes and take three deep breaths 